Hello everyone, welcome to how to navigate YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to fix low FPS drops. So now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing that I would really recommend you to do is to go to this PC. And here, what you have to do is to right click and go to properties. And here in properties, please click on advanced system settings. In advanced system settings, we have performance. Please click on settings and here select adjust for best performance and only, only enable or only check smooth edges for screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. You can enable others as well if you consider them to be very useful and important to you. But for me personally, I think smooth edges of screen uh, looks way better with this turned on and also show thumbnails, thumbnails instead of icons. It's a really useful feature. So now apply and OK. And now the next step is here in the Please uh, right click on the Windows logo and here select run and here please uh, write ms config and enter. And okay, here in services, please uh, check hide all Microsoft service and if there's a service here that you, if you, that you don't use, please uncheck it. But what something really important is to go here in startup and here, please uncheck, for instance, microphone OneDrive is just, uh, it will take a lot of memory from your computer. So it's, um, uh, and, um, your computer will run much harder if you have these applications, uh, in the background. So please deactivate them by just clicking. Uh, selecting it and then press on uh, disable. So let's say I don't want to have a uh, Cortana in the background, just select it and then um, and then disable it. Let's say maybe Microsoft Teams, click on disabled and you disabled the application that's running in the background and it's taking a lot of space. Now right click on Windows logo and let's go to device manager here. Please uh, go to display adapters and look for network adapters and please update both of them. Also update display adapters and um, also the computer and in just general just update your computer to the latest version um that this means you have to update first let's go to settings and here please update windows uh, windows update so uh, please update windows 11 to the latest version or windows 10 if you have and also please update your drivers. So if you have the Nvidia, please update here, search your driver and please download it and install it on your computer so you can update your driver. And also what you have to do is to, is to install DirectX and user runtime web installer. And now please uh, install DirectX, click on download, press save, play, save, click on it, yes, and here select accept, next. Here, please uncheck install. Uh, okay, next. Now just wait. Now wait for the installation to finish and then the next 
the next uh, next thing you have to install is this one, which is Microsoft Visual C++. Now just scroll a little bit down and here we have uh, x64 architecture and click on it. Save, wait a couple of seconds. And now please install Microsoft Visual C++. Um, this time we have to install this uh, because it's very important when you're playing games. So please install it, I already have it on my computer. Okay, now the next method here in the search bar, please write game mode and select the, fir the first match game mode settings, please. And here, please turn on game mode. In the past game mode, it was not optimized. Now it's optimized. So that's why, at least for me, and I've tested for others. Uh, they told me it works as well. It increases your FPS. So please turn it on. Okay, now let me show you the next step. Please follow along with me. And now here in the search bar, please write graphics. Graphics and click on the first option. And here, look for the game. Okay. In, uh, in our cases with Project Playtime, please look for it and then what you have to do is just to click on it and click on Options and here select your GPU, your GPU that you know is performing way better, better than others. So please select your GPU, and click High Performance if your GPU uh, where it says high performance and you don't have selected your high performance GPU, please do it. Also, the next step here in the search bar, please write power. Sorry, power options. Edit power option in here. Click on change advanced power options. And if you don't have it, this in uh, if you go to if you go to okay, sorry, go here to power options and here change plan options, change advanced power options, and here you should see performance. And please, uh, where it says performance, please increase to one hundred percent. Now I don't have it on, or I can't see it here because I'm using a virtual machine, but yes, uh, that's uh, you just go there in high perform and performance and just increase that. This will also also help. You can also see here high performance instead of balanced. You should also see here um, high performance. If you see that, just please click on it and enable high performance. Can also create a um you can also create here create a power plan and here select high performance go next uh create and here my click on it and here you should see performance and increase performance to 100 percent here we create performance favors performance we may may use more energy here you can all actually in fact you can here write high performance because there's times maybe you don't want to use high performance and you just like want to use uh, balanced, which uh, will use less energy, consume uh, automatically balanced performance with energy consumption. Okay, now the next step, please here in the search bar, please write the frog meant and optimize drivers and here click on analyze and then after uh, has finished after it was over the analyzation please click on click on optimize now to optimize your hard drive and this will help the games to run smoother 
and uh, that's guys the tutorial for today uh, you can also that's uh, another tip if you tried all the methods in the in this video and it still doesn't work is you're still having problems with the game the fps will decrease a lot you're lagging you can also install windows 10 i've tested and at least for me i'm getting more fps if i'm using windows 10 but i but i know i'm, I'm conscious that it's uh, really it will take more time to reinstall your windows so i think it's just uh, it's your decision if you want to invest the time to reinstall windows and reinstall windows 10 and then reinstall the game it's your decision but i hope this video helped you out if this video didn't help you and you're still having problems with the game please leave a comment in the in the in the comment section because if there's a lot of comments which say that this doesn't work i'll look for other ways to help you because my goal here is to help you right so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video Take care.